Welcome to Nintendo Week. I'm Gary. And I'm Allison. And I am Talgor the Destroyer. Today we're taking a look at Final Fantasy, Four Heroes of Light for the Nintendo DS system. And we'll show you a preview of the upcoming game, We Party. In addition, they will cover Samurai Warriors 3 and Guitar Hero Warriors of Rock, games which I, real life warrior, compliment for realism. It's gonna be a great show. I'm playing Samurai Warriors 3, a new game developed by Koei Tecmo that lets you take on the role of a samurai or ninja in action-packed, larger-than-life battles. Right now, I'm playing as Nobunaga Oda, a real-life military genius from the 16th century. Samurai Warriors 3 has multiple gameplay modes, and each has its own unique features. In historical mode, you customize your own character and then jump into the pages of history, playing as a hero in real battle scenarios from Japan's Warring States era. In Murasame Castle mode, you fight alongside Takamaru the Samurai on a quest to uncover the mystery of Murasame Castle. Story mode is truly epic. Each character has a unique, playable storyline, and one of the coolest features is that their storylines sometimes overlap, so when you try out a new character, you might find yourself fighting a battle you've already won from a totally different perspective. Sometimes you're going to want backup. All modes in Samurai Warriors 3 allow you to play two-player co-op with a friend, and Murasame Castle mode lets you share an adventure with another player using the Nintendo Wi-Fi connection service. Let's try out free mode. I'm using the Classic Controller Pro, and so is Gary. But you can also play with the Classic Controller, a Wii Remote Controller, a Nunchuck Controller, or even the Nintendo GameCube Controller. All right, first we choose a character, and then we choose a scenario. I'm going to go with Nobunaga Oda again. I'm going to try Kai. They'll soon see I'm a lot tougher than I look. And let's go with the uh, Kanto campaign. So what do we need to do here? Glad you asked. Every scenario in Samurai Warriors 3 has a battle plan that lays out all of our objectives before we start fighting. First, the game tells you what your overall goal is. In some of these scenarios, you need to defend a stronghold against an attack or escort someone important safely to a destination. In this one, we're invading a castle, and our final goal is to defeat Ujiyasu Hojo. Once you understand what your mission is, the game breaks it down into the specific things you need to accomplish along the way. I think I got it. You ready to battle? Yeah, let's hit the battlefield. All right, and we're thrown right into the action. So we're in two-player co-op mode. I'm on the top, and your screen's on the bottom there. We've got an objective right off the bat, so. Now, the control scheme here is pretty simple. You'll notice at the bottom, the green bar, that's our health. In the red, we have our Muso gauge, and we have our spirit gauge, which are the blue flaming dots. Your spirit gauge goes up if you do combos, like I'm doing now. The Muso gauge and the spirit gauge will help with specialty attacks. Oh, there's a gem I can acquire. That'll help with upgrading our weapons later on. So I just defeated an officer and received a tactical bonus. And in this case, the defense of our entire army was increased, which will help all of us achieve our ultimate goal. I'm actually at full with my Muso gauge and my spirit gauge. Oh, let's see what you got. Yes, that's so awesome. It's easy to get turned around in this game because of all, all the different things that are happening on the battlefield. So whenever you're in doubt, you could just reference that map up in the right, and that green arrow is prompting us where to go. This is our final victory objective. Forward. Let's get him. Let's get him. Oh, boy. Nice. Both of our Muso gauges are full, so if I get close to you, you'll see that we have this electrical connection. And what that means is that if I were to do a Muso attack right now, it would be a double Muso attack. You looking for trouble? You resist me. Yeah! <laughs> yes, we defeated Ujiyasu Hojo. 
That was quite a battle. Nice job, Allison. You too, Gary. <laughs> Become a part of history today. Samurai Warriors 3 is in stores now. Yeah! Good segment. Final Fantasy Four Heroes of Light is a new RPG that truly puts the story in your hands. The game encourages you to think for yourself and forge your own destiny. In other words, you don't just control a hero, you really have to think like one. It's totally up to you to determine which villager is giving you the important information, which spells to learn, and which items to carry on your adventures. You can only bring 15 at a time. One of the new features of Final Fantasy IV Heroes of Light is the crown system. Crowns that you collect in your travels allow you to change your job just by changing your hat. And a new job means a whole new set of abilities to use in battle. You'll recognize some of the job types like mages, thieves, and fighters from classic RPGs. But you also have the option of being a dancer, a party host, a beast master, a storyteller, a ninja, a spell fencer, and lots more. You can switch your crowns as often as you want between battles, and you can upgrade your character's crowns by collecting gems that enemies drop. The battle system is turn-based and incorporates a new feature called action points. Each action a character takes, like attacking or using an item, costs a certain number of action points. You recharge at least one action point after your turn, but you only have five at most, so you really have to strategize how best to use them. The game also has a local wireless multiplayer mode which allows you and up to three friends to adventure together. Put on your hero crown and pick up a copy of Final Fantasy Four Heroes of Light on October 5th. Next week, Nintendo's releasing a party game, and you, your mom, your best friend, and everyone you know are all invited to play. That's because Wii Party will be in full swing across the USA. Wii Party is packed with over 80 mini games that up to four people can play together. Now that's social gaming. Next episode, we'll have an in-depth look at all the fun stuff going on in Wii Party. So get your me character ready to have a good time. Party crashing isn't just okay, it's encouraged. Wii Party all night long! Now save some of that energy for next week, Allison. You're gonna need it. Party! Dark Gary's Awesome Corner of Rock, bros! Welcome to Dark Gary's Awesome Corner of Rock, where Dark Gary and Rock intersect at a 90 degree angle. Yeah! Today on the Awesome Corner, we've got David and Joe from Vicarious Visions. We're gonna tell us all about the hardest rocking game yet in the Guitar Hero series. Guitar Hero Warriors of Rock. Come on out, David and Joe! Yeah! Welcome to the Awesome Corner. You're welcome. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. So, uh, Guitar Hero Warriors of Rock. I hear it's jam-packed with some new features. Tell us about it. Yeah, it's the biggest guitar hero yet, and it starts with an all-new quest mode. This is a story-driven mode narrated by Kiss frontman Gene Simmons. Through the cold, wet places and the dry, dead ones, they struggle. You'll uh, go on this quest where you have to battle the beast and save the demigod of rock and save rock and roll. Yeah, sounds like a quest I'm ready for. The Wii version of Guitar Hero Warriors of Rock has some exclusive new roadie battle features. Uh, tell us about it. Yeah, so we totally expanded roadie battle in all of the roadie modes this year. We made it so you can play cooperatively, competitively, and uh, we've expanded it to up to eight players. So you can play four players on instruments, four players as roadies, supporting them or attacking them. We've also made it so that the fantasy theme of the game has been brought into roadie battle. So your, your roadies actually have powers. They can curse other players. It's a really crazy mode where everybody can uh, get together as a full band with all the roadies and have a ton of fun. Yeah, nice. So uh, tell us about some of the new bands and songs that are in this game. We got a really amazing set of music uh, for this game. Some of the most rocking tunes we've had. Uh, classic, legendary artists, brand new, amazing artists as well. We've got uh, Muse, Slipknot, Avenged Sevenfold, uh, Rush's 2112, the entire album in the game playable. We've got Kiss, The Ramones. Dave Mustaine from Megadeth did an exclusive song. We've got other things like Flyleaf, Fall Out Boy, Soundgarden's new tune. There's a lot of great music. We heard there are some new controllers. Can you show us one? Oh, absolutely. Got one right here. Oh, rad axe, bro. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> this is the new rock-inspired guitar for Warriors of Rock. It's really awesome. You can take these wings off, you can take the headstock off and put a different one on, and you can really just make it your own. Yeah, nice. So the game sounds awesome. I really want to try it out. Can we? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> All right, David, tell us about what we're going to do. So we're going to have a massive roadie battle. We got eight players. 
four teams of two. I got two teams from Vicarious Visions here. We got Danielle and Mike, Joe and myself. We're going to take you on. Yeah, well, we've got two teams from Nintendo Week. Daniel and Chelsea and Faya and me. <laughs> Let the best duo win. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do this. Yeah. Yeah. Good game, bros. Thanks for demoing the game for us and dropping by the awesome corner. Do it! Dark Gary's awesome corner rock, bros. Talgor the Destroyer accidentally destroyed set of Nintendo Week, and Gary and Allison fled for lives. But fear not, for they will return next week to cover NBA Jam and highly anticipated Wii Party. Don't miss it.